Hello guys, this is Squid Lord here, and today I am with you with some with a Shang Sun combo breakdown. Now, the thing is, is that I posted up a combo video the other day and everything. I didn't, you know, break down what my combos were. Well, that's what this video is gonna go over. It's gonna go over and make sure that. You know, I show you all step by step how to do this. Just in case if y'all really wanted, or if y'all couldn't figure out the combo from just looking at it and stuff. So, without further ado, we have Shang Sun here. Give me your soul. He's got Force Lift equipped, the, uh, the Explosive Corpse Drop equipped. And the soul swap, which soul swap's not gonna be used right now. Um, what I like to do for the start of my combos is shape shifter into close corpse draw into a standing three into an amplified force lift into a standing four and into either a soul steel or a slide no not that with a sorcery rush <clears throat> now looks like a whole lot and the close corpse drop can be a little difficult for some people but it's it's fun. It's fun, easy. Now, mistakenly throwing out your little projectile is a pain. But once you get the start of it down, which is gonna be four to four which you can continue it if you're in the corner for a launch for you know more combo but if they're blocking um, let's just put auto so if they're blocking it leaves you plus so you can poke back or you can go and cancel into that if you want to complete the string. Which, if they don't, uh, if they're trying to do something and you end with it's four two four two four three, that ends in a crushing blow if it's a counter or a punish. So if they stop blocking. Or if they try to like poke back or something, then they're gonna get crushing blowed, and that, and then if all three of those hits hit, it's usually 29% damage. So pretty, pretty big damage for getting swamped. Okay, and um, but you can start it off with the the shape shifter. You can start it off with back one one. You started off with one one, uh, but as long as you can, you know, get that close in, you can essentially make this connect however you want. Now, don't do that. That's how it ends if you soul steal. 39% damage. Pretty good. And since, you know, I know how to play Scorpion, if I was going to get against somebody that's playing Scorpion and ended on that, then I'd be perfectly fine because I'd know his buttons. If you don't, then you may want to try to go for the sorcery rush, which is that little slide there. 
Now I gotta admit, it's a little more difficult to input for that. Because you do have to be quite quick on the draw to get it to connect. Because uh, if you don't catch them at their highest point with your kick, the highest point of your hitbox for this kick, and do your sorcery rush, you're gonna miss it. Now, normally, you can catch them quite often in the corner with it because the corner just kind of keeps them pushed close up to you. But, if you can't, that's fine. You can just always end in something different. And, let's see here. There's also... Um, if you're in the corner, I don't know if I point in to very much depth, but you can juggle somebody six times here. You can get three, six hits in there, in the corner. But yeah, my main, like, main combo that I do here is mainly this. Not that. It's mainly this. So I end at 39% damage with the Soul Steel. And if I don't know how to play the character that they have, I'll just either try to dash forward and grab, or try to just kind of sit in the back and wait till the Soul Steel goes away. Because if you don't amplify the soul steel, you're fine because the um, duration isn't lengthened. So, if you just go boop, boop. If you really wanted to get them like really into the corner, you need to end your combo and your sorcery rush. So in order to really do that efficiently, you're going to have to either short your combo a bit. Now this may depend on how you do it, but see you know, 1% less than the normal combo, you can still get them way off in the corner. Now, yes, you have to use three twice so that you can, uh, so you can kick them enough to get the sorcery rush in. Because if you try to cancel the four into the brush without them being in the corner, then you won't be able to connect it. But if you do three in the corner, then you're fine. For three mid-screen, then you're fine. And then... That's what you can do to get them in the corner. But you can always cancel your little things into whatever to make shorter combos that look a lot better 
just whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, um, as far as crushing blow combos, his only real good crushing blow you can combo into, or combo off of, is this one, which is his back one down two, in which you're almost always going to want to try to convert off of a standing three, so that you can try to get your force lift in if you're using the same variation. Because you won't be able to get your corpse uh, explosion in there at all. Because they're just way too. This is you're already juggling them, and I don't think it's physically possible to get it in. Yeah, it's not. So, um, essentially, what you're gonna have to do is spend one bar of meter to extend that combo to become 30%. But, it's a real good launcher, it's just, you know, your back one portion of that hit has to be, you know, has to miss in order for it to become a crushing blow, or you can um, punish somebody with it. Now, the other crushing blow for that... It knocks them away as a hard knockdown. So to lock, to launch them across like full screen. Now that's when you're able to like dash across the screen and everything and go uh, in order to go and uh, grab them and stuff. Now um, we do have a few moves. We do have a few strings that are plus. It's just, you know, you don't want to spam them too much because your opponent may be able to figure out, oh, hey, if they use a string, I can wait like half a second and then poke right back as they're recovering. Because Dark Arts, you know, that's a pretty nice, you know, that's a pretty nice little gap that you push yourself back away from. Well, if somebody has a long enough string that's fast enough, they can punish you with it. Uh, same thing with, like, Bad Omen. It's only next six. And that pushes you back as well. But, if they have enough uh, active frame advantage, then they can hit you. Uh, and turn for goofing. Um, never got that one to work, so that one's fine. <laughs> um, well, well, let's try it. Uh, nope, it is not one to work for me, so that's fine and dandy. Um, let's see here. This string is a nice little range string. To keep pressure on them. Uh, let's see here. Back to startups 15 frames. So it's pretty fast, I want to say. Not poke speed fast, but decent enough to uh, use it when you can. Now the Ruthless and Deadly Turn and the Sorcerer Sweep. Ruthless is only neg 7 so you're basically almost safe or neutral. Um, Sorcerer Sweep you're safe because that's just a low low. But the other one is a low overhead. There's a low overhead that you can combo off of. Single boop boop. Which it's kind of ridiculous. What I've seen a lot of people online do is they'll jump in, 
And if your opponent is, say, blocking, they're blocking for the overhead, the jump in, they'll immediately go for the back three, uh, back three up four. So that it goes overhead, low, overhead. And then they'll cancel it if it doesn't hit, or if it does hit, they'll continue the whole string which is back, uh, back three, up four, three, four. So they'll just go boop, and they'll just boop, and then jump right into it. And you can cancel that into that so that you do have specials So if you really wanted to, you could change it up so that you do something sneaky like Ruthless and go right into the combo. Now you are going to use your corpse drop a lot in order to get the big the bigger damage in combos. So So if you're able to, you know, get that in after you figure out how to do Ruthless, then I would consider you to be pretty dangerous with Shang Zone. Because the best that some people can do is just canceling it out. Now if you can go boop. You know, boop boop into that into a full combo, then yeah, sure, man. I mean, you know, if you can go convert anything into, you know, the combos, then yeah, sure. Now, as you can see, going one, one into your corpse draw is really risky. Because it's blockable. Because your opponent's recovery frames are fast. So, I would recommend going back one, one, into your corpse drop. Reason being is because you're able to do it a lot faster, and you can psych them out for, you know, your chop, and get a pretty decent amount of damage off of it. But I personally prefer the 4 2 4. Even though, you know, it's super easy to read sometimes. It's just, you know, something that I've constantly drilled into my head to do but if you drill in you know your back one one into something you know it's good for you to figure out and tinker with this character 
because, you know, a lot of the shorter combos you can do may be more efficient for you to do. So like going boop boop into this may come up more often than, you know, dropping a 38, a 39% combo in which, you know, may be important to you, maybe not. Now, that's up to you for, to decide. But that's it for this variation of Shang Tsung. Now, yes, uh, this is my highest damage dealing Shang Tsung because this is the combo very. Uh, this is the variation in the com in the corner that can get super big damage. So, if you do want, you know, if you do want huge amounts of damage, then this variation of Shanks on, you know, is your man. Because he can just dish it out in the corner. And. If your opponent really doesn't suspect you're doing anything, like a huge combo, and they just kind of ah, I dropped it. See, 41% right there. And if you connect it with 4, it gives you 42%. It's just a lot more difficult connecting it that way because the draw with uh, 4 4 is. or with just straight up 4 is a lot faster than it is with 3. But 42 is the highest percent damage combo that I've been able to get with Shang Sun, minus, you know, trying to combo off of crushing blows or a fatal blow. Now, if you can combo into his fatal blow, you can definitely get, you know, 45%, maybe 50% combo worth, but. I personally would prefer to have people know and learn, you know, two bar meter combos that can get you, you know, half your opponent's health than needing to rely on a, you know, a very finite resource when your meter's basically limitless. That's it for this version of Shang Tsung. And I'll have another video posted towards the end of the week. Hopefully, depending on the schedule, with my other version of Shang Tsung's, you know, combo breakdown. Because I know quite a few people, you know, don't want to learn, you know, a specific variation. Well, I'll put out this one, and then I'll make another one. And then what I'll end up doing is uh, possibly going into tournament variation combos. But I mean, a lot of the tournament variation combos, you can kind of 
modify off of these combos. Now I doubt they'll have explosive corpse, but you know, whether or not they do, who knows. But I know right now there's only one real good variation for uh, Shang Tsung in the co in the uh, tournament variations, and which is used heavily, and it is the Magma Eruption one. So that'll be the next variation I'm going to cover. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please show me some some support by dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you want to stay updated on my videos and other activities, there's a Facebook page down in the link description. Uh, and there's a link in the description. Not just, but uh, there's also a link to my Mixer account so that you can go follow me on there. Whenever I do stream, you'll be notified down there. Um, Right now, as far as I know, for the next few months, I'm not going to be able to stream, so that's not going to be super active for the moment. But guys, as always, keep up the shenanigans. I'll see you in the next video.